So in a previous video, I explained how to create a survey file and transfer it to the instrument where you could start saving readings. So I've actually taken one of those files, saved some readings to it, and now I actually want to transfer it back into Gauge View. So the first thing I need to do is initialize the device. So if I click Device and then Config, I'm using a 38DL Plus and I'm connecting through a USB cable. So I'm going to choose this and then click Add and then click OK. So now the instrument's initialized. If I click 38DL Plus, it shows me all the files that are on the instrument. So the file I actually saved readings to is test2. So to transfer that, so I'm going to left click and hold it and drag and drop onto the database. So then I have the option to import all readings or import only new readings. This is a new file, so I'm just going to do import all readings. So once the instrument's done transferring the file, if I'd like, I could view my data set. So if you double click the data set name, it's going to bring up the data set summary. So you don't necessarily need to do this every time you transfer a file. I'm just kind of showing what the data set summary has to offer. So it displays the IDs for the data set and the thickness readings for each survey file associated with that data set. So if I click test two, it has all my readings, also the gauge setup and transducer setup. So out to the right, I have all the survey files. Test two is the one that I actually saved readings to. So if I double click that, The thickness measurement table is displayed in the top list box. The gauge setup table displays the calibration details. If a waveform was saved, it will be displayed on this screen when I select that ID. So some I saved A scans to. If I click it, you'll see the actual A scan. And from here, I can actually right click the A scan and copy it and then paste it into another program. You could paste it into Excel if you'd like or Word to generate reports. So to print a survey report, you'd first want to open the survey file like we did, and then you'd click print. So this is just showing me my IDs and my thickness values. If I also wanted to show some waveforms that were saved, I'd choose measurements and waveforms. And as you can see, I have a variety of options to choose on how I'd like to generate the report. So these ones didn't have waveforms, but if I go to the next page, see this one did. You can also choose to use a custom header. So if you wanted to do that, we would go to edit and then custom header. And you could do a company name. And you can put in any additional info you would like and then click OK. So then when I open up the survey file and go to print, if I choose use custom header, it appears here. And then from there, I can print the report. And it will print to the default printer that's set up on the computer. There's also a waveform export option, which will send all the A scans from that survey file to a folder on my desktop. You can also view statistics on the survey with minimum, maximum readings, any alarms that were set. Also, you can do view color grid. So you can actually use the color legend to color code the grid.
and then I could click print. If I was doing like a through code or an oxide or a temperature compensation file, the special thickness measurements will be displayed here as well. I'd have the option to choose like alternate reading or through coat. And then I could also export directly to Excel if I'd like. So you have a variety of options on how to generate reports within GageView once you transfer the survey file.